We are working on virtual reality since 2013 on the ETR project. We first discovered this tool thanks to our colleagues at CA Cadarache. The main purpose 10 years ago was to review and validate design of the plant structure and mechanical components. Uh, the use of 3D models on a large screen at true size is essential for a good understanding of a given environment. After many years of usage for review process, we quickly felt the need to go further and search for new tools to immerse ourselves even more on our 3D environment. As the technology around virtual reality is evolving very fast, we are now able to fill the gap between just visualization and interacting with a given scenario. The virtual reality technology is already used in the design approach of the test blanket model ITER project in collaboration with CA. The collaboration addresses the feasibility of the test blanket model's replacement in uh, operation in port cells. Uh, this scientific program uh, foresees to replace every two years the test blanket models. Um, some of the intervention uh, require human access in controlled area. Now, the virtual reality is a powerful tool for human factor design optimization. Optimizing the uh, working, the ergonomics of the working environment since the early stage of the design can reduce the exposure times of the operator in a contaminated area. Uh, so for us, it's a tool that we adapted that is very important uh, to take into account the human factor uh, aspect. So several sessions uh, at ITER and the CA have been uh, organized with the TBM design experts, uh, with an operators uh, immersed in the real-time simulation in the virtual mock-up one scale, with the possibility to interact with the objects, uh, to clash with the environment, and if uh, with the simulation you have uh, issues of accessibility, uh, these issues uh, will be immediately spotted and uh, design uh, improvement can be um, adapted. From our experience, uh, the Test Blanket Module team, we can certainly say that VR technology is a powerful tool now at the disposal of the whole ITER project and all the systems that need to perform uh, integration study, accessibility assessment or human um, access validation can benefit of this tool. As of today, we aim to bring these tools to every aspect of the ITER project.